Hey guys, welcome to Veggie Macab. It's the first week of November, so that means we're kicking off into the holiday season. Christmas, Hanukkah, you name it, whatever. We're going to start talking about and reviewing the stuff that's coming up soon, if you couldn't tell by my intro. Uh, same old characters last year. We're going to have a couple other people that will show up. Of course, my uh, dearly departed satanic co-host uh, from last year was eaten to death by one of my dogs, probably trying to save myself. Uh, he's still around. He's in a bag. Um, Jesus. Wet. Yeah, so anyway, back in the 80s, I don't know, I mean, maybe a lot of this audience isn't old enough to know, but there was the Snoopy Snow Cone Maker, which was one of the coolest toys. It was actually a toy where you could make real snow cones and eat them, and it was such a cool concept to kids um, that grew up in my generation where we were really kind of handcuffed to the Play-Doh Fun Factory McDonald's set where you could pretend to eat things from a toy and um, and here you really could. Well, fast forward to 2014 and lo and behold at CVS for 19.95 I found this some bitch. The Snoopy hot dog toaster. Now I didn't know you could toast hot dogs, I knew you could toast hot dog buns, but apparently you can do all in one. And it comes in this really cool toaster where you can cook two hot dogs at once and there's Snoopy here sleeping on his house because he's a dumb dog and it has three steps to it that's it number one insert which I've already done I've pre loaded this uh, number one load the hot dogs in the bun as you can see that there is uh, slots for the hot dog bun and two little holes for the hot dogs themselves step two is Press, get it down in there. Two and a half is wait. And make sure while you're waiting, you watch something as cool as the old 1981 Alien Cop. It's a hell of a stupid movie, but man, is it pretty entertaining. Um, Apparently there's more than just hot dog toasters in this line. You can get anything from pancake makers to pretzel makers, um, waffle makers, all in the shape of your favorite uh, Peanuts characters. Um, even a popcorn maker. I did not see the iconic snow cone makers because apparently that's from a different company. This is from the company that is, uh, what does it say, Save the Planet or something? I forget who makes this. Um, Smart Planet. And snow cone maker is obviously, I think it's like Mattel or something. You can buy one today over at Toys R Us. It's making weird noises. I really hope this doesn't catch on fire. Because that would be a bummer. Shit, that scared me. <laughs> Alright. So here we are. We have uh, successful... Toasted hot dogs. So let's see how these come out. Ah. All right. Well, okay. I can kind of see this now. I don't know why I made two of them. I guess I just kind of figured. Hey, you had to. All right. Um, they also come with tongs as well, so you don't have to do more on things like me. Now this is at three and a half, and it didn't seem like it cooked that long, so. It doesn't seem like they're done. Alright, um, I don't know how you like your hot dogs. Personally, I like, um, relish, mustard. I, I don't do ketchup. I hate ketchup. There's a long story for that, but I'll get into that later. Alright, so, a little Grey Poupon. God, I told myself I'd never eat hot dogs on TV or bananas, but... toasted the bun very well, and it cooked the hot dog. I don't know why I'm surprised by it. 
It just didn't seem like it was set very long. Like I said, I had a three and a half. I, I'm sure you could go longer and, you know, have a burnt hot dog if you really choose to do that. Is it optimal? I don't know. I guess it's, you know, taste preference. But, uh... And the fact that I'm eating a hot dog while I'm on a really strict diet right now is some kind of a neat little concept. It's a neat little thing to have in the kitchen. Uh, kind of cool for kids. They're very serious about not sticking any uh, metal objects in it. So that's good. So this will shock the shit out of you. Don't use it in the bathtub. Um, but other than that, man, I think uh, it seems pretty easy to clean. That is incredibly hot. I don't know why I just did that. So, $19.99, yeah, I mean, you can't really go wrong with that. You can get it at CVS, um, and that's the only place I found it. So, go out, get one, and start your holiday shopping, because we only have, like, I don't know, 40-something days left. And see if you can find uh, Alien Cop on YouTube. Uh, if not, you can always write me, and I'll burn you a copy of this one and send it to you. Don't tell the FBI, please. All right. Good night.